Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Right, so I've got to go and get those. I do still have to actually get the drakes though. It doesn't like excuse us from doing that. Um, they are still a little bit of a problem. So I've, I've got that dude up there sending down the birthing flame. So I'm going to do that, which is going to irritate them a little bit. Are they both coming down to me? No. He's going to that dude. He's going in there. But I've got... I'm attacking both of them now. Like that. And the other dude who is here as well, he's he's also attacking both. So we can, we can both make use of this. There, there's one of them slaying. And there's two of them slaying. I can get the old frosted claws, and I can do a little bit of skinning as well. Skin that one, and that one, and then there was a body over here lying underneath him. Can I get... Can, can you move out of the way? You're right in the way there, dude. That's not very helpful. I need one more. Right, you up there. Throw Malister's Frost Wand, and then come over here a little bit, like that. As soon as he gets close enough, should should be on his way down to me. He doesn't appear to be on his way down to me. Quite sure why he thinks that he can run away from me. I've got someone else attacking me now. Let's try that. Come on down, big boy. I've got a present for you. I've got Proto Whelp, but there we go. Right, take that one on. And there, and there, and slap him with another shot. And then there's Proto Whelp in here. Can also be slapped with a shot. A few other bits, and then there we go. Right, so that was nice and easy. I'm being interrupted over here, so let's slaughter that one as well. Like that. Wrong time, there. Right, now I can skin. Pull these out and we get our skinning. See, my, my skinning, I'm, I'm doing really well already with it. I've already leveled up my skinning. I haven't got any problems with that one. There, Borean. At least I think I've leveled up my skinning. Talents. No. Professions. There, skinning is already Northrend skinning, 75. Northrend leatherworking is only three points. So I kind of need to do a little bit of work with Northrend stuff. Senleia has come online. Incidentally, Senleia is on her new laptop. We, we bought her a laptop. It was her Christmas present, but it's kind of come in a little bit early. Um, because her other one was getting slower and slower and slower. So we got her one that's just in time for the release of this game. Say hello. Yeah. She's not saying anything yet, but she is online. Okay, now she is officially on the video on her new laptop. Taking a lot of it took it took a lot for us to put her on film. I need a target. It's a yeah, it's, it's a big thing putting someone on film. Right, we, we we had to put a lot of time and effort into that, making sure that, that worked out perfectly, and getting getting you know getting the just the right shot and and all the rest of it. Yeah, it it it, it really really took it out of us. Right, let's get these two dudes over here. I, I need I need a few of these. Right, and uh, and I'll do that. And I get the animals to attack him, and then I can spam this shot. I've got another shot that I don't use. Right, there's there's another one here somewhere, but it was was it, it's arcane shot, and it's a bit I don't get I don't know why I've got arcane shot on there. That costs 40 focus to use arcane shot. The one I'm normally using is cobra shot, which is 35 focus. So there's no real reason for me to use arcane shot at all, at least as far as I can see. Let's do bestial wrath on there and really get these guys nice and angry. Use a couple of cooldowns. I got Touch of the Void there that I can use. I'm not going to actually. I'm, I'm just going to use the Bestial Wrath one. There we go. Look at that. These guys are bad. Like seriously bad. Uh, we'll run down here. I need two more drapes. Not those. Yeah, like that. Right. Dragon Flayer. 
Dragon Flayer Handler in there. Let's, let's, let's pop him out and then enrage the animals. Oh, yeah, I, I went and popped open that one. So now I've got a Proto Whelp that I want to take care of. I can have him and then loot him and skin him. There. Do that and then skin him. So there is a bit of an advantage of taking him down. And I got one more handler over here. I'll do that like that. I think I did just shoot another egg, which means that my pets are going to go I after need a it. Target. Here. That's not very helpful, pets. That's not very helpful. Actually, I'll finish taking off the egg. I don't have a target. There, because I'll get the proto drake whelp that will come out of it. And then I can have that one, and then split damage between, and then they can go after the handler over there. We can just finish that off. Mend. I gotta, rem I gotta remember to be mending pets. Poor Ollie there, he nearly died. Uh, he, he didn't do well, did Ollie. He's on 54% at the moment, so let's do that again. Right, so we, we've done a little bit there. Just making sure that nobody else has said anything that I need to be paying attention to. Doesn't appear. So so now I can go and turn these in. Ollie is healed up. Ollie is doing just fine. And I want to go racing back over this way. And I'll find the Ember Clutch dude up here. Now you move. It's good at that. No good at all. Unfortunate that one predator must be used to put down another. But that is the natural order. So perhaps now the Proto Drakes and their whelps can go back to living peacefully. Somehow I doubt it with the reawakening of the Vrykul. I can have item level 34 right there. That's a bit of a, a boost up. And that one, item level 29. They're both the same. I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to then fly off and leave that proto whelp alone and ignore it. I'm going to go back over here and then we will change over our outfit and we will also go and turn in this new quest. Well, not new guest, you not. I'm going to go up on the wall up here and I'm going to get changed. Right, it's a new arm guard right there. That gives me two armor, one agility, one stamina. About the same, really. Right, why have I got... I got the appearance of the ring there. Black Icy Bling. Treasure Hunter's Dream. I don't understand why I've got Black Icy Bling on me. I don't even know where that came from. I've picked it up from somewhere. I'm just not quite sure what it's from. Maybe it's a, a trinket or something that, you know... I don't know. I don't suppose a trinket would do it, would it? Can I get down... I can't get downstairs from up here. That is not actually a thing. I got. I got to. Yeah. Let's. Let's. Um. It's probably not a good idea to jump off the roof, no matter where you are. Um. All right. Well, we'll go in here. We'll speak to Malice again. A uh, Malister, not Malice. Malister. Hello. The major tenant sighs. Unfortunate business, to be certain. Well, what's done is done. With any luck, the new whelps that grow to be Drakes at Ember Clutch will not retain a memory of our shameful actions therein. And with a bit more luck, the boundaries of the magical forest will not continue to spread. Here, Beldras, please take this pittance from the treasury for all of your troubles. It's the least that we can do. Safe travel. Nice! Level 32, and we've got a rare upgrade on that chain. That puts us... We lose 12 versus 30, but gain crit. Crit is the thing to have, though, isn't it? Crit is the thing to have. So I've got that. I've got a new passive effect, Beast Cleave. After you multi-shot, your pet's melee attacks also strike up five other nearby enemy targets. 75% as much for the next four seconds. So multi-shot is that one. So that's a passive effect. That's good. I like passive effects. They're good. They're always on. You never have to worry about trying to pick them out and use them. Um, what's he doing now? Things he does to get new gear. What is he chasing after? Something. Right. Intimidation. Command to pet to intimidate the target. Stunning it for five seconds. Bestial Wrath rank 2. That just levels that one up. Exotic Beasts. 
The Art of Beast Training for Exotic Pets at level 39. So we've got a little bit to level up before we get that one. Basic Hunter over here. Mend Pet. Call Pet. Call Pet number four. Yeah, that was the bit that we kind of lost that they moved that around a bit. Having to dig my hands through. <laughs> He's handling poop. He's doing something with poop. We know he is. Playing with poop. Bet he is. I absolutely bet he is. Right. Uh, I'm going to speak to Captain Adams a minute. How are you? How are you? Beldrass, now those damnable proto uh, creatures have been dealt with. I have another task for you. One of our scouts has reported back some suspicious activity by the Forsaken to the south. It looks like they're up to no good uh, at the very cool village known as Hellgrind. I want you to personally take over the investigation down there. Speak with Scout Knowles to find out what he's uncovered and proceed from there. His last reported position is at the Ember Spear Tower, just to the west of Hellgrind. Alright, we're going to have a look. Uh, definitely clean. I'm assuming that he is definitely playing with poop. Not sure what poop he's chasing after, but uh, yeah, we, 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 we'll let him enjoy himself. Enjoy yourself. There. It's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's having a lot of fun. Now, deep down inside, I'm sure he's having a lot of fun doing that. Now, I need to go and speak to Captain Adams. I've also got a couple of quests over here now. So where's Captain Adams? Captain Adams is over there. No, Scout Noel. Sorry, not Ca Captain Adams wants me to go and speak to him. That right there is the... Zeppelin dude. So that's the captured Zeppelin owner right there. What have we got here? Uh Hi, how are you? Well, our ships are sunk. We need your help to break the pirate blockade down below in the Shattered Straits. Take these cluster bombs and hitch a ride on the Zeppelin that Haramizer has loaned to us. He'll fly you over the decks of the pirate scoundrels and you make sure to give it to them. Give it to them good. If you can't bomb them to the Reens, I'm afraid we'll never be able to break the blockade. Right, so what is this? This is a repeatable quest. Valiant's Expedition. Um, what do we think of the pre-patch changes? Uh, well, at the moment they seem all right. I'm a bit confused about this. Oh wait, wait, no, no, where's it going? You know what? You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do have a this one. Now. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna get this one. Yeah, I, I just said that. Um, the pre-patch changes, like, I'm, I'm kind of a bit disappointed that they've squished the numbers, but they still haven't enabled us to, like, we're supposed to be able to choose an expansion and do level 10 up to level 50 in that expansion, but that's something that we don't, although, like, Pandaria is saying 10 to 35, although these aren't saying level 10 to 30, so I, I'm 15 to 35 there. So it looks like they've kind of done it a bit, but you don't get to take it all the way up to level 50, unless that's like a slight mistake. I, I, I'm not sure. And this is something I'm not quite so keen on at the moment. I, I would like there to be able... Rogue has poisons again. Oh. That's interesting. They brought that. I know that there were quite a few people that wanted that mechanic back. So that could be interesting. Yeah, it, it could kind of be interesting, but I don't like playing a rogue, so it's uh, it, it's not really very beneficial. Um, yeah, that one there, sitting on that one and flying around, bombing the blockade, I don't really want to do that. I think that's a um, Valiant's Expedition repeatable, so that you can just build up your rep up to Exalted with it, and I have no desire. You. Right, Eldras, the captain's tasked me with a mission I'd like you to help. A bunch of my fellow Explorers League people went nuts, digging up stuff in a Whisper Gulch just to the north. They're attacking anyone trying to get in. The captain is only concerned with the ore for the keep. Lucky for us, I have just a thing to do the trick. Get in there, blow up the ore, and bring it back along with any gems you find. Running this place isn't cheap, you know. I gotta warn you though, that ore is strange. Watch your back. And that would be Saronite ore. Some valuable stuff, that old Saronite ore is there. I knew there was another quest here somewhere. Saronite ore. Uh, it might be the Cobalt, but I doubt it. I suspect it is the Saronite Ore. Explorer Abigail. Look, we've got horses and all sorts over here. Look at this. Chelsea's horse there. 
Stable Master Chelsea. Welcome. I've heard some rumours of bad things happening in, Whis in, in Whisper Gulch to the north. Most of Explorers League went down into the place, and some say they went mad with what they discovered. That doesn't change the fact that they took most of our mules and equipment with them, though. I won't lose those mules. If you find yourself in there and happen across any of my mules, just get up close on them and threaten them with a raised hand. They'll spook and come home for sure. Safe travels. Oh, you're a dwarf. I was speaking like you were a human. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, so not just um, it's not manufacturing poisons. You just use a spell for it, but they've still got it back. I'm not sure what she's been doing to these poor mules. That you just gotta go walk up to them and say, right, get a move, get a move on for you feel the back of my hand, and then it uh, it goes racing off home, terrified. I'm not, I'm not really sure what she's been doing to them for that. Right, uh, you. How do I send him packing? Revive pet. Uh... Right, I, I, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with you. It, it says... Let me just read that again. Send him packing. Threaten them with a raised hand. Oh, wave. I'll bet it's wave. No. Salute. How am I supposed to threaten you with anything? You, you, you're not threatening. Raised hand. Raised hand. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Abandoned pack mule. Come here. I don't have a target. I can't attack that I need one. A target. Right, I, I've got these dudes here. They're, they're, I'm, I'm, um, I'm genuinely not sure what I'm supposed to do. I'm, I'm going to pick off some of these a minute. And another one over there. Take those. Use the multi-shot because that causes them to do more AoE damage to everything around them, which is a good thing. And then finish you off over there. Right, so there's those three out of the way. Bit of um, cloth as well. Uh, this one here. I'm going to blow that one up. Oh, I see. And now I pick up the fragments. And I need gems as well. So the fragments are easy enough, but the gems... i got to get 18 gems. Uh, lots of fragments, no gems. This is just great. Right, you. Do I need to stand in front of you, maybe, and wave? No. Well, how am I supposed to stand in front of you and salute? not working. Uh, abandoned pack mule, send them. Let me, let me just ask. Okay, according to Google, I've got to do slash raise. There we go, that works. Right. Why it's hit raise a fist at them. I'm sure I tried slash raise before, didn't I? Maybe I said raise. I I, I did something. I no, it's just uh, just slash help for um, figuring out what's going on. So yeah, right. Slash raise to spook them. I did not think that it would be that simple. I I, I thought I'd tried that. Um, the salute and the raise. Well, what did I what did I say then? I must have tried a different one. I'm genuinely not sure now. Right, Whisper Gulch gem. Another gem. Ooh, actually, we got quite a few gems from this one. 
This is all gems rather than ore. I like that. Plenty of that. Uh, now I got another deranged explorer over here. And I'll very quickly take care of him. This stuff doesn't look like Saronite or anything like that. This stuff looks a lot more like um, dark iron ore, actually. Quite sure why we got dark iron ore up here at Northren. That doesn't really make any sense, but. Well, I, I guess it kind of fits in because it's Whisper Gulch. So we got the ore kind of whispering to us that there's some. Um, some ancient evil locked up into it here, and that's, that's what's causing all of the issues. Um, yeah, if you've got it whispering that kind of nonsense to you, they've turned against you, take your revenge, yada, 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 uh, that's, 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 that's going to cause you to seriously question what's going on around you, isn't it? may even cause you to do things that aren't very pleasant to other people. Which, we, we, we don't really want that, do we? Okay, let's get you. I think there's someone else nearby. I want that piece right there, and then I want that gem. And I want that gem over there. That makes nine gems. I need to find... Yeah, someone else is up there. Doing the whole pack mule thing. So I'm going to take down this deranged explorer over here. I don't actually need to kill deranged explorers. Yeah, if it's all right with you, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually going to kill anybody. I'm, I'm just going to ignore the, the, the crazy voice in my head and hope that I come out all right. It's usually a good idea to ignore the crazy... Oh, squeak. Oh, wait a minute. That's, there's a dude I'm actually supposed to be finding. Uh, let's go to you and raise like that. He was too far away. i do that there a minute. I'll heal up Ollie because he's taking a little bit of damage. Pick up these gems. There, there's 12 gems. That's... 13 gems. Going a little bit closer. How close have I got to get to you? Right. Oh, get out of here. I'm going to come out of this cave now. I've got most of the gems that I need. There's 16 of them. So if I, I'll come out here. I need to find some more pack. Oh, there's another gem there. I missed that one. Nearly missed that one completely. Right. I only need one more gem. That's going to be fairly easy. That's just a regular explorer there behind me. And I'll take him out there and very rapidly hammer him down like that. There, he's out the way. We don't need to worry about him. It's that bit of ore up there. It's mostly the pack mules that i got to go and find now. They shouldn't take too long. At least I'm hoping they won't. Right, there we go. Bit more cloth, a few other little pieces, and that one right there, Kablamo, and there is one more gem. Excellent, right, I got 18 of 18 on there. Now I want the pack mule. Scare him off like that. Get close enough to be able to spook him. That's the key to doing this right, is you've got to get close enough to spook him. So let me come in here. There. And I can do it on the back of my flappy as well, which is also brilliant. So there's another one. There. I'm over here. Oh, you've actually got to do it to them by the look of it. Yeah, you, you, you've actually got to target them and then type uh, raise like that. Target and then do it. Right, there we go. Okay, so that's 10 out of 10 for there. I don't need to do any other quests for... Let me just climb out of this bit there. Uh, I don't need to do anything else for a second. I just want to go back up here and turn in these two. I've got the one with the mules, and i got this dude over here who wants the gems What's and stuff. What's on your mind? Construction on this place seems to be a never-ended task. I just hope that you're able to get us what we need to continue. It all gave you a strange feeling. Maybe we won't use that stuff after all. Steering looks at the stuff and takes a step back, changing the subject. 
Those gems look really nice. I wonder what I can get for them. Of course, there are always repairs and new stuff to be made. You know, I really found working with you to be profitable. Take this. It's the least I can do. Yeah, he's not keen on that ore, is he? So, I hate to say it, pal, but while you're out there, the captain's got a keener interest in that place. Looks like he wants my old Explorers League boss in there dead. My guess would be that they're gearing up for an offensive to clear out the rest of them, and the captain wants their head lopped off, as it were. Do me a favour, head back into Whisper Gulch and put an end to Squeeg Idol Hunter. From what I remember, my guess would be that he's in the cave to the northwest corner. Off with you. Uh, yeah, I'd say that was a fairly accurate guess, all things considered. Uh, I have already seen him. I, I went in there and I shook him by the hand. Great to meet you. I'm indebted to you, Hunter. At least with most of the mules and equipment recovered, we can hope to rebuild our numbers soon. See you soon. See you soon. Right, let's go over and have a little chat with Squeeg. My man Squeeg is down in here. It's so much easier flapping over than it is when you've got to like do it on foot. So I got a deranged explorer right there. A deranged explorer right there. Uh, that one, and then multi shot, and that takes care of all of like that. They, they do damage to everything around them, although they're not needing to damage anything right now. Got a green there. Ah, there's there's Squeakster. Come here, Squeakster. I got something for you. Come over here. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go with the deranged one over there and then I'll multi-shot so that my dudes start doing a little bit more damage to everyone. And there. So that's so basically how I can start getting a little bit of AoE, except that they're turning their backs on the other ones. and So it's, it's not working 100% quite how I'd like it to, but it's, it's not too bad. Right. Go and turn in this quest. And then we should be good to head on down the coast here towards the Ember Clutch and do that one there. Before I do fly out there, though, uh, down there, I'm going to go out onto that island. There's an island out over here. Stable Master. Oh, no, actually, I think we do that one after we go to the Ancient Lift here. We go to this bit, and then we go out round there because there's a... Yeah, I don't even know. It's, it's the Walrus people. How are ya? I don't know what they're called now. The sapper grumbles as if he wishes that you hadn't succeeded. The captain will be pleased to hear your success. You know, since you've been such a good sport in dealing with this Whisper Gulch business, why don't you take your pick of one of these? Whisper Steel... Yeah, I'm not sure if I want Whisper Steel. This stuff doesn't seem very good, really. Safe travels. Ooh, we got an upgrade. All right. Maybe I don't mind quite so much. Yeah, look at that. One armor, one agility, one city. Oh, I'm going to take that. Put that bad boy on there. Now, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to come out of there and I'm going to go for the Grand Expedition Yak here a minute. Punches? Punches? Well, unfortunately, folks, the bear is getting a wee bit tired. And... Well, I suppose we could admit that we're getting a little bit tired as well, so we're going to have a little bit of rest and recuperation, enjoy some meat and mead. And while we do that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.